Koi Tower, once one of the great landmarks of the city, is now a broken down monument symbolizing the world that's passed us by. This Geiger wand will help me find the Tesla egg. It'll beep louder when I'm approaching the egg. The oscilloscopes on the Spirit radio each need to have both the frequency and amplitude adjusted. The lines will start white and then turn yellow once the amplitude or frequency is correct. Once the desired frequency is achieved, the line will turn blue and the operator can move on to the next oscilloscope. There are three stages to the spirit radio. Once complete, the operator will be able to make contact with the dead. shipping containers. It's nearly impossible to lift the lids on these without anti-gravity lifts. Maybe I can find a set around here. Oh, shipping containers. It's nearly impossible to lift the lids on these without anti-gravity lifts. Maybe I can find a set around here.
the shipping containers. It's nearly impossible to lift the lids on these without anti-gravity lifts. Maybe I can find a set around here. It's a pair of anti-gravity lifters. It's a pair of anti-gravity lifters. I took the elevator to the top and waited for Slade, according to Manus' instructions. Hello, mate. What you got there? The stuff bad dreams are made of. Looks like the Tesla egg. Well, this is like the worst designed doorstop ever. Oh, I beg to differ. It's like a little piece of plutonium in an atomic bomb. You know the effects it had on you, dreams, visions of Donnelly? Apparently that's just a hint of what it's capable of. Come on, Slade, you're not buying into this crap, are you? Between you and me, I don't think it'll work. But the translator does, and he's promised us a big payout for this egg. And if one person's willing to pay that kind of money, there's usually others willing to pay more. So let's have it, partner. Mantis finally got his revenge, and Slade got what he deserved.
Seriously, we are the dynamic duo, don't you think? You're certainly the boy wonder. <laughs> so what have you come up with? Always happy to help out my best tenant. Perhaps I've been wrong about you, Murphy. What can I do to help? Hey, what can I do for you, Murph? I forget. You don't remember nothing about Taylor. She works for the Bay City Mirror, does a lot of investigations, and she's a real peach. Sweet, smart, funny. Yeah, I wasn't too happy that you and her were spending time together, but maybe she was seeing through all that tough guy stuff. She's good that way. Murphy! a semi-conscious state hearing fragments of conversation between Dalton and some other guy. I'm transported to a location in New Mexico where underground nuclear testing experiments were carried out in the 1950s. I remember a map where all the Titan reactors around the world were linked together to one location, the launch pad of the immortal coil. Time to play up my last hand. You see that rather large, old-fashioned looking piece of equipment? That was your home for a very long time.
Yeah, that's how I got here for my home planet, Altair 4. And you have the egg. Wonderful. I must confess, I'm surprised to see you. Dalton and Slade were convinced that you'd never bring the egg here voluntarily. Yeah, well, a deal's a deal. You said you'd get my memory back if I brought you the egg. Still, unlike me, they knew you way back when, when they used words like idealist, naive. Dartboard, punching bag. Hmm. I've always been an idealist myself. But I find it's the pragmatists like Dalton and Slate who get things done. Without Dalton, I wouldn't be here. And Dalton wouldn't have had the opportunities he did if Slade hadn't helped him rise through the ranks of Gideon Enterprises. And Slade wouldn't be here if I hadn't returned the favor and got him out of prison. Well, I knew it wasn't good behavior. I mean, what part was I playing in this evil little cabal? Surely by now you know that you were J.T. Donnelly. Protector, hired gun and confidant of Nikola Tesla. What? Are you saying I'm J.T. Donnelly? Right. You don't believe me. But how do you explain your visions of Donnelly's life? Well, I think it's the Tesla egg. Donnelly hid it in the wall of the apartment. I didn't even start having the dreams until I moved in. The spirit radio allows us to communicate with the dead, not the egg. The egg merely amplifies it. Yeah. Well, I had a radio. I mean, there are other explanations, but I got to admit, they all sound insane to me. You can't deny the visions. The egg may have had an effect on your subconscious, your, your spiritual DNA. But you weren't receiving messages you were remembering. Everything has led to this. A reunion of consciousness. But not just for you, for us all. This is what Tesla intended. His death ray, the spirit radio, the Tesla egg, all brought together to create a celestial conduit, the immortal coil, that will redeem and purify this depraved planet and create a literal heaven on Earth. True immortality, timelessness, no sickness, death, or pain. All needs met and achieved through the genius of Tesla! If you would be so kind as to step out there and place the egg. Where's Slade? No idea.
Tax is being paid. Tax, you have come here seeking answers through the spirit radio. Please do so. But you'll only have a few minutes. Then none of the answers will matter because the world will be reborn. Margaret. Margaret Leonard, can you hear me? Oh, it's so cold. It's so dark and so empty. Is, is there someone there? I, I, I feel the presence. It's me, Tex Murphy. I'm trying to contact you through the spirit radio. You've got to help me, Margaret. I, I can hear you, but, but you sound so far away. Tex? Tex? I can't see anything, but I can hear you. I have no sensation. It, it's as though I'm floating in a void. Where am I?
The first knob adjusts frequency. The second knob adjusts amplitude. The third knob adjusts which screen is being manipulated. protect my daughter. You knew what happened to her, and I couldn't trust you. Not the man you'd become. Oh, what's my connection with Donnelly? Is that me? You are who you want, Tex. When I used the transinducer on you, it restored you to whom you were. Don't go back. Tell me how to get my memory back. I can't do that, Tex. You are the sum of your memories. I took things from you. Repressing your dark memories was my way of atoning for what I did. How do I destroy the immortal coil? Find the frequency. The one I found. The one Tesla found before me. It will destroy itself. There'll be no way they can stop it this time.
sandwich. What are you doing here? I put a tracking app on your smart Alex when you let me download that video of Bowers. Serves me right for trusting a cop. You've been tailing me ever since? No. I wanted to trust you, I really did. But you're a suspect in some unsolved cases, and I thought, possibly and quite likely, you'd go back to your old M.O. at some point. Tex Murphy, you're under arrest. You're arresting me? For what? For the murder of Jim Slade and another as yet unidentified male. I didn't have anything to do the with it. The bodies were thrown from Coit Tower, and we have witnesses that saw you leave the scene immediately after. Now that I can explain. I, I can... understand Slade was a very bad man, and probably deserved it. But I told you before, I won't tolerate vigilanteism. Maybe it's not a perfect world, but it's the best I've got. I might have been somebody else over the past seven years, but I'm ready to leave that behind me. I've been given a second chance and I intend to make the most of it. I sense this is just the beginning of something bigger, and what comes next may not be easy. But then again, what is?
to your programming here at New San Francisco Voice Channel 6 for an urgent bullet. A tragedy in our fair metropolis today is all three members of the Knights Templar without a K have been found murdered in the sewers near Telegraph Hill. The images we're about to show are graphic and may be upsetting to some viewers. This trio of self-proclaimed superheroes have, according to their blogs, been protecting our city from the forces of darkness and indeed, violent crime is down almost half a percent putting our crime rate only slightly higher than Syria. Recent tweets from the victims describe battles against an invading army of Morlocks, the fictional characters from H.G. Wells' time machine. When asked to comment on the slain crusaders, one police officer at the scene said, quote, hell, they probably killed each other on accident. So while we may not have witnessed the gallant exploits of these stealthy vigilantes, or even once experienced the terror and destruction of demon spawn, it is with a heavy heart that we here at the New San Francisco Voice say to the Knights Templar without a K, thank you. Now back to your regularly scheduled program.